Welcome to the Earth's Embrace. This topic's focus is dedicated to the practice of grounding, or what we call earthing. We'll discover the incredible power of reconnecting with the Earth's energies, finding balance, healing, and a sense of belonging in the natural world around us. We will explore the science, the benefits, and guided exercises to deepen our connection with the planet we call home. In this vast journey of life, the universe, with its boundless love and wisdom, offers us a myriad of ways to heal, to rejuvenate, and align with our true selves. One such profound yet simple gift is the act of grounding or earthing. So as we journey the challenges of existence, grounding offers a pathway to balance and health, reconnecting us with the earth's embrace. An embrace the divine has thoughtfully laid at our doorstep. Grounding the gentle act of connecting our physical form with the earth is not merely a symbolic ritual. It's a dance between the universe's energies and our very being. The earth, in its infinite wisdom, pulsates with a vital force, a force that, when tapped into, has shown to usher in a plethora of psychological benefits. Every simple human gesture, every single touch, every connection to the earth holds a promise of restoration and rebalance. Just imagine, if you will, imagine the serene act of digging your hands into the soil. The granules, cool and moist, brush up against your skin. As you delve deeper, you can almost feel the pulse of the earth, a rhythmic heartbeat that echoes the age-old wisdom of nature. You close your eyes, and in that fleeting moment, the world fades away. There's just you, the soil, and a profound sense of connection. Planting seeds goes beyond mere agriculture. It is a spiritual act of trust and patience. As you push a tiny seed into the earth and then cover it with soil, you're not just hoping for a plant to emerge in the future. You're grounding yourself in the present, feeling every sensation, every hope, and every dream that the act embodies. The anticipation of growth, the commitment to nurture, and the joy of seeing a new life sprout, all commence from this humble act of grounding. When we truly immerse ourselves in the act, be it simply touching the soil or planting seeds, we're not just engaging in a physical activity. We're partaking in an ancient rite, a communion with the earth. We become acutely aware of our surroundings, the chirping of the birds, the rustle of leaves, the scent of fresh earth, and the gentle caress of the wind. This profound mindfulness anchors us, grounds us, allowing our bodies and minds to tap into the healing energies that the earth offers. Our spirit feels lighter, our thoughts much clearer, and our heart more open. For in these acts of grounding, we are reminded of the timeless truth, healing, 
balance and well-being are often found in the simplest of gestures, in our intimate rendezvous with nature. The earth's embrace is always there, waiting, beckoning us to reconnect, to remember, and to heal. So really, all we need to do is reach out, feel the soil, and let its inherent magic transform us. Recent multidisciplinary explorations have unveiled the compelling impact of grounding on our body's intricate systems. When we come into electrically conductive contact with Earth's surface, our bodies resonate with effects that deeply influence our health. Specifically, this union with the Earth has shown to have consequential impacts on inflammation, our immune responses, the process of wound healing, and even in the prevention and treatment of chronic inflammatory and autoimmune conditions. This connection with the earth offers not just a grounding in a spiritual sense, but also in a profoundly psychological manner. It recalibrates our system directing it towards a balance, reducing inflammation, and promoting rapid healing. Our white blood cell concentrations, which are the warriors of our body, the cytokines, and other pivotal molecules integral to the inflammatory response, all show measurable shifts when we ground ourselves. So I wonder, why does this occur? Theories abound, but they all pivot around a central idea. The universe, in its boundless wisdom, has woven intricate electronic aspects into our cell and tissue physiology. And so by grounding, we tap into these aspects, enhancing cell biology, biophysics, and biochemistry, creating an environment conducive to healing. And to further understand the profoundness of grounding, consider an experiment injury known as delayed onset muscle soreness. This injury, which offers a window into the immune response, reveals a marked difference between grounded and ungrounded conditions. Grounding not only alleviates pain, but influences the circulating numbers of our neutrophils and lymphocytes. Additionally, it plays a significant role in modulating various circulating chemical factors that are intertwined with inflammation. Consider, if you will, an allegory of the barefoot sage. In a village nestled among the mountains, there lived an old sage known for his incredible vitality and spirit. While others his age walked with canes and sticks, he would walk barefoot, walking the mountain paths with ease. Villagers would often ask for his secret and the sage would simply smile and point to the earth, the earth beneath his feet, emphasizing the significance of staying connected, staying grounded, and in tune with the earth's energies. It wasn't merely the act of walking barefoot. It was his profound connection to the earth that rejuvenated and healed him every day. Our journey on this earth is filled with complexities and challenges. Yet, the universe, in its boundless love, continually offers tools to navigate this journey, grounding being one of its most potent gifts. 
By reconnecting with the earth, we are, in essence, touching the divine, aligning with energies that heal, that rejuvenate and guide. Here's an affirmation for reflection I'd like to share with you. In my union with the earth, I find healing, I find balance, and the divine's profound embrace. In essence, as we journey through life, it is so essential to remember the inherent gifts bestowed upon us. Grounding or earthing is a divine invitation. It is a call to return to our roots, to find balance, to find healing by reconnecting with the earth. And so the next time you feel unaligned, recall the sage's story, the wisdom, and embrace the healing touch of the ground beneath your feet. As observed in the National Library of Medicine and Research, this connection with the earth offers not just grounding in a spiritual sense, but also in a profoundly physiological manner. Did you know that it recalibrates our system, directing it towards balance and reducing inflammation and promoting rapid healing? This connection with the earth, gentle and profound, transcends mere symbolism. When we touch the soft, nourishing soil beneath our feet, we're not just grounding spiritually, but also entwining with nature in a deeply physiological way. The soil, with its innate wisdom, provides a balm a sanctuary of healing for our complex systems. As our toes sink into its tender embrace, our inner self feels a recalibration, a guiding hand directing us towards equilibrium, towards balance. The soft earth beneath us isn't just inert matter. It is a potent elixir that diminishes inflammation and fosters swift healing. Remember our white blood cells, the valiant guardians of our body, along with the cytokines and other crucial molecules in our inflammatory response, all respond with vitality and vigor to this grounding. This act of earthing aligns our inner energies with the expansive orchestra of the universe. Consider these profound words on grounding and earthing. Quoting Thich Nhat Han, and I quote, Walk as if you are kissing the earth with your feet. Unquote. And I quote Marley Matlin, who once said, quote, The earth does not belong to us. We belong to the earth. Unquote. Amit Ray said, when you touch the celestial in your heart, you will realize that the beauty of your soul is so pure, so vast, and so devastating that you have no option but to merge with it. You have no option but to feel the rhythm of the universe in the rhythm of your heart. Unquote. In essence, as we merge with the soil, soft and cradling, we don't merely touch the earth, we touch the essence of existence, a profound reminder that we are eternally connected in this life. Dear God, I earnestly seek thy guidance and grace to embrace the earth's healing power through grounding so that I may help and uplift others. Grant me the strength 
to walk this path of balance and well-being, anchored in the divine energy of grounding, as I share thy love and healing with those in need. Amen. If these insights have touched or inspired you, kindly consider sharing this podcast available on all platforms within your circle. Together, we can heal our world, one person and one message at a time.